Uh, which is the 21 day uh, declutter your life journaling challenge. So tell us uh, a little bit about this. Uh, the cluttering is something that uh, a lot of people freely admit you know, they are pack rats, they accumulate stuff ex external. And I thought, what a better way of dealing, showing people that decluttering is not only an external uh, situation, it's also an internal situation. So by uh, combining the internal with the uh, the external and focusing on uh, you know the, the journaling, it helps people get into themselves and to realize that it's just been more or less a uh, behavior pattern that they uh, uh, picked up and that's you know they have the uh, ability power wisdom whatever to really take a look at you know spend time with themselves and see what's really going on and uh, as they clear out the external cl clutter, also work on you know the internal. You know where does this come from? How you know what kind of, what kind of a you know, home did you have? At, you know when you were gr growing up, uh, and and just really and and the, the day to day thing that this shows that we really have just you know gotten into patterns and uh, racing around and taking care of our. Our husbands, our our children, our you know you know aging parents, you know what whatever our, our jobs, all, all of the above, and then and have the this opportunity in 21 days because I think that uh, I think the, the wisdom right now, is, the scientific wisdom, shall we say, is that uh, 21 days is plus is is a good time to to start making new behavior patterns. So that's the uh, the whole thing of. Uh, um, Getting, uh, like taking a look at the external, the internal clutter, and seeing how you can uh, come back home to the center and just really make some major changes internally as well as externally with uh, with your life. That's as you as you know that what goes on externally. We've been living as a response, you know, as a uh, reaction to the outside world, and now we have the opportunity now to live our lives from the inside out. And I think that's one of the great things that the journaling helps us do is show us that. And one of the things that we, we do in the, the challenge is we start uh, on day one with each day doing a, what I call a 10-minute uh, burst. We uh, set the timer or the watch or whatever for 10 minutes, you know, set what your, your goal is uh, and, and just do something about it and then uh, at the end of that, if, I mean, if it's going well, keep going. But like I said, that's why to build in the, those little baby steps that 10 minutes each day you set aside and you take a look at, hmm, this is what's, you know, bugging me or, you know, or you know, who, who knows what the, the issue is. So I, I, like I said, that's the that's part of the, the, the challenge as, as well as, you know, tying into getting into things like, you know our life purpose. You know why are we here? Who who are we? What are we about? And that and see that as the relationship that it's not two separate things. That it's, you know, it's me and the clutter. That you know it's it's all tied in together. So I would love for you to uh, just tell us a little bit about how journaling can assist with um, having us have healthier and happier relationships. Uh, I, I guess I, it gets back to the same thing that by doing the journaling, uh, as I call it, the ultimate personal transformation tool, it helps us get further and further and further in our, our, into ourselves and see, helps us determine what do we want from, from relationships as opposed to, again, the, our old our behavior pattern of, oh, you know, Oh, it's this uh, you know Prince Charming is, is not here again, or, or or whatever the you know the situation or relationships, be it even friendships or, or or whatever. Again, with the whole thing about relationships, again focusing in on us and what's inside of us and what are our thoughts, what are our feelings really and truly, and getting aside all the the other 
bad experiences, the, which are learning experiences, and focusing in on, hmm, you know, uh, just because uh, society and you know, mother and whom, whomsoever said we you know, should be by 30, I mean, I should be married and be, you know, thinking of a, and really have the opportunity to really examine in great detail where is that all coming from? And again, figuring out what do I really want? And a lot of people um, uh, choose their, because of old behavior patterns, uh, uh, tend to act out and, and, and are, are kind of, uh, shall we say, toxic people uh, that you know really have, haven't taken the time to do their internal investigation and, and uh, spend some quality time with themselves. So I think that um, uh, it's, it's really an opportunity, again, to go further and further and further into our heart, our, our soul, our, our minds, our, our bodies, and, and just, again, get honest with who we really are and what we really want, as opposed to just being in response to uh, you know, this situation. It's back to, to journaling. I mean, journaling is, uh, as I said, a, the ultimate personal transformation tool. And it applies to everything, be it decluttering or relationships and, and, and people, because it's all about, again, emotions and, and, and focusing and learning how to think with our heart. Uh, and that's a good thing. A lot of us uh, have not been uh, very experienced in how to uh, one get in touch with our emotions, let alone you know, use them and accept them as part of who we are. So, and then mm -hmm. that way, once we get clear and and then, then we are able to then have healthy energy to attract the type of, of people that we want to spend time with and, and we we choose to have in our life. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so I. I want, you know, people just to take note of this on how beneficial, you know, journaling can be in all uh, aspects of our life. And I'm